Hello everyone and welcome in another episode with BDS in the office. Today I would like to talk about American super sports cars, Chevrolet Corvette, and uh, today we're going to talk about C7. I read somewhere that uh, this car was in development since 2007 and uh, it's supposed to be revealed at 2011, but uh, but they but they delayed that for three years more and uh, finally in 2014 they re they revealed the car. While they were making the car, they were debating it's gonna be uh, if it's gonna be a mid engine or it's gonna be a rear engine car. And at the end, they come with the solution to be a front engine car with a real wheel drive because of the cost of the make. with a remo removable uh, roof and also among, among the standard version of, of this car. This car originally comes with the LT1 6.2 liter V8 engine which produces uh, 450 horsepower or 460 if you choose performance exhaust. Also you can choose between 7 speed manual transmission and uh, 6 or 8 speed automatic transmission. You got the standard one the Stingray with uh, 455 horsepower and uh, you got the uh, Z06, it has the same engine but it got uh, 655 horsepower and also for car enthusiasts and lovers they can choose the Z01, it comes with the Z06 6.2 liter engine uh, but they they uh, but they add a 2.6 liter Eaton supercharger and the engine is 50 and the engine is 52 percent uh, larger than the regular 6.2 liter <laughs> Producing monstrosity 755 horsepower and 715 pound feet of torque. And of course, with uh, a lot of power, it comes a lot of heat, so you have to so you have to improve your cooling system. And they come up with a better cooling system. They come up with the vents on the bumper, and uh, they come up with the vents on the hood, and also with a larger inter intercooler, uh, and they made it to look like a part of the hood. The top speed of this car, I think it's 214 miles per hour, which is uh, 345 kilometers per hour. And, uh, and considering the delay of three years, I think it's worth it because they made a perfection. And once again, they succeeded. And uh, I would like to say, uh, when you drive that car, you got the, when you drive that car, you feel like, you feel how much effort was, uh, how much effort they put in that car to make that car and the uh, design is really cool i mean it looks like it looks like a spaceship when you when you look on the street so yeah considering that uh, they were developing that much they made a great car and once again they proved why are they in the top of the why are why are they in the top of the super sport car industry and uh, they they proved that they can they and they proved that they compete with uh, lamborghinis ferraris maseratis and uh, I don't know about Bugattis, but I don't think so. <laughs> For now, I only had the chance to drive a Stingray, and I can say that it's a really good quality, and I like the sound of the car, and uh, you can feel why is the why is that car is like truly American muscle car, and Dodge Vipers and Corvettes are are very good cars, and uh, I didn't have a chance to drive a Dodge Viper, but I had a chance to drive a Corvette Stingray, as I said, uh, like and as I said. And uh, I'm quite impressed. Those cars are really good and, uh, and uh, really well made. That would be all for today's video. Hit that like button, share the video and subscribe. And more great content is awaiting you. Stay tuned. See you next time.